at least the first uh, ceiling uh, mounted CT scanner in the world. Uh, you know, we're excited about the future in terms of technology and what we'll be able to do with our partners, uh, with the table design and with interoperative uh, uh, image guidance. Uh, I think there'll be lots of opportunities of the future, some of which we can't even conceive of today. The advantage is it'll give us uh, uh, anatomic detail uh, that we can use interoperatively to uh, place uh, screws and rods uh, in the spine. Uh, we'll be able to uh, real-time evaluate the adequacy of the decompression we've done, taking pressure off of the spinal cord or nerve roots and to see whether we've uh, adequately decompressed it uh, prior to uh, closing the patient up. Most of the imaging modalities currently are not CT-based, they're called uh, cone-based uh, C-arms, uh, and the amount of radiation dosage is much greater. Uh, this uh, scanner that we have here is a 64 slice uh, scanner, so we could scan from the base of the skull all the way down to the sacrum in a matter of 30 seconds, which is uh, much quicker. Spine surgery has changed, as has orthopedic surgery, and as we're doing more and more minimally invasive procedures, then one of the issues is uh, you need more radiation for that, you need more fluoro time. Uh, so uh, anything we can do to decrease the radiation dosage to the operative team, as well as to the patient, uh, can be valuable, uh, particularly for long-term exposure. We initiated the project with our spine surgeons as our key stakeholders and our radiology team, but a lot of the surgeons have been interested in other types of opportunities in using the ICT suites. There are other types of procedures too that could be done in these rooms, but one of the key factors here is that although we anticipate this technology being key in the types of procedures in these rooms, these ORs are also built in a way that they can be used as a traditional OR suite if necessary. So it gives the hospital great flexibility in being able to shift from one environment to another very quickly. So having a ceiling mounted system that was actually one of the guiding principles that our design team looked at early on. We were worried about things being on the floor and we were worried with conflict of equipment and cores being on the floor. So our goal was to get as much off the floor as possible. We wanted to be able to do that from a safety perspective, but also to be able to clean the environment really well and easily between cases. So having the ceiling mounted system is something that we perceived would be better for our hospital. We're really excited about having the IMRIS uh, interventional uh, CT scanner. The interoperative nature of it allows us to, uh, to actively image patients uh, who are in the operating room. Uh, we see many different applications for it and a tremendous benefit to uh, be able to image and integrate that with the, uh, with the interoperative approach occasionally during surgery. Uh, what you'll find is that a patient needs a scan or needs an additional localization. So what this allows the surgeon to do is to, uh, with minimal effort, uh, to go ahead and get that additional information that they need to improve the quality and safety for the patient. Almost every system at this point is fluoroscopy based. And so you don't develop the ability to see some of the soft tissues. Uh, and being able to really get a, a dramatic view in three dimensions of that, um, of that particular bone structure or soft tissue structure, uh, you just don't have that capability currently. It allows us to cut back on the overall dosage and so we can take just one set of images and use that for a variety of different, uh, different ways of, of assessing the patient during the operation. The overall dose that we're talking about uh, for these is less than what they would receive for a, uh, a diagnostic uh, examination. You know, again, future possibilities with something like this uh, might be for uh, things other than orthopedics and neurosurgery. So it could be uh, general trauma. If you had a level one trauma patient that's really sick, you need to get them to the emergency or up to the operating room immediately versus stopping down in radiology. So it has a lot of flexibility. It has the ability to do IV injections uh, even, and potentially has the ability to do interoperative uh, CT fluoro where we could actually do biopsies uh, under CT guidance.